Hey everybody, this is me, Brian, or Comp Agent. I'm walking through Ashton University. This is not my house, and some of you have said, you know, tell me to shut my kids up and everything. Um, I live right over there, down there, that's where we're headed right now. This came from uh, A and H, a small the center of arts, or whatever they call it now. I don't care. Center for the arts. Center for the arts. They changed it, make it all fancy sounding. I'm a business major, so I don't care. Anyway, you're watching this video because it is video one of the tutorial for Requiem for a Dream that you've been asking for for about 18 months now. So yes, I finally got off my ass and did something about it. And so I have now, I'm actually walking back, I just recorded it. So you're seeing me after, and as a bonus, we stayed there and goofed off, and Nicole had to keep the camera running, and so you're gonna get a video of me goofing off. Hope you don't mind. So, enjoy the tutorial, and I'll talk to you later. And as a reminder before we begin, I'd just like to remind everybody that this is the music that I had, the links were posted onto my profile, and I have numbered every measure, so as we go along, I'll refer to those so you can follow along with me. So let's jump right into it. First measure is a simple G, octave, two below middle C, then it will jump to the G above it, E flat, and D. And that's your very common, this is what's going to be undertoning the entire song as you learn. See that again? G, E flat, and D. And that repeats twice in the beginning. And as you continue in measure four, once again, it's a D, or G, sorry. And this time it adds the fifth in the middle, so it's still E, B flat, E flat. It comes down, everything just flows down, just fall off from the blacks to the whites, the D. And that does the same thing again. Now on top of that, we have the very common sound, B flat, A, G, D. And that just repeats with a very steady rhythm. And after the third one, it's slightly different, it goes to C. The C above the B flat you're playing, B flat, A, and B flat. You see that again, comes down three times, three, and then it goes to C, B flat, A, B flat. And that actually repeats two or three times. And so what you have is both. So you have the underlying G, E flat, D, and that repeats in the beginning. And you keep doing that by just adding four notes above. And that first G is held for twice as long as the other, it's a whole note. So you have to play this through twice on G, and falls, alright, then continuing on, the right hand is still the same, Four measures 10 and 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. And so on the left hand, at measure 8, 
You just came from this. Three notes. Octaves. I know three notes. Now this one is slightly different. You still have the G, but this time instead of having the D, you have a B flat. D, B, G, B flat, and G. And then this B is very important because that's going to set your rhythm. You're going to hear two, three, four. And then keep that finger right where it is and fall same thing to the E flat, keeping the B. So you go from D's with the B flat to E flat and B flat there. One in between, and then once again stays put and falls to the D. So the whole thing sounds like this. This, the B flat is a constant throughout the entire thing. And then as you continue on to measure 10, it becomes a chord. So instead of having just this, now it's the full G minor chord with the top on once. So it's just a chord repeating. Then fall down to the E full chord. And then the D chord twice. So as you can see, as you've done this, you've built. And as part of a recap, you have the D or G, E flat, D. Then that repeats, and then in measure eight and nine, you've added the B flat as a constant. Same thing again, only you build to the chords that they're in, the G, to G minor, the E flat, the G major. So that's on the left hand. The entire time of all of that, the right hand, is just the same thing. repeats through the same thing. So going to slowly to hear it together from measures 8 to 11, you have built up to the next section.